What's going on guys, Awaken Fresto here and in today we are going to locate Gen 6 Hero and if you like to know how, ooh, subscribe today and watch the video Alright guys, so we are going to Try out the new heroes, Jess, or the full name would be Jessica Yao. All right, as I already do like preview of like who's Gen Six is, we know that she's a brawler. And how do we get her? Okay, so she's basically located in Daily Deals. Okay. So obviously, very, very, very good um, values here as usual because the price never change, right? So, all right, and you should be able to get her from Survival of the Fittest and uh, SBS. Okay, so all right, we're gonna go ahead and locate her. All right, here we go. Boom. I'm gonna take this picture for future reference. All right, look very nice. All right, she got a panda shirt here, so she came out at like 700 something. So we just gonna try to use all the frag that we have here. Ooh, do we have enough? Oh, we have enough to get her to a next level. All right, so three more frag here. All right, my hard earned frag, guys. So we use quite a few here. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade her all the way as much as we can. Okay, how far can we get? So then this is give us a, okay, all the way up to level 30 right now, right? So her skill is at level three now. Level 2 on this one right here and right here. So let's take a look what she's good at. Alright. So let's take a look at military um, basic benefits here. Enemy settlement uh, troop defense plus 17%. They haven't fixed this, bro. <laughs> if we're gonna attack somebody, it's gonna increase their defense by 17%. I think it might must be like minus. It's just like different sign, maybe. We'll, we'll see. And then rally troop lethality almost six percent at level thirty. So she should be up to like, I would say about twenty. All right. So, oh, totally forgot here. Oh, she will become number one here. What if we can resonating wacko to her? But then again, we don't have wacko charge. So, all right. First thing first, she's an infantry, she's a siege, which means attacking other people's city and rally. She, her, she have benefit to increase your rallies, alright? So, we're gonna take a look at the explode skill, we're gonna go test her out, and then we're gonna talk about her military skill, and will she be good for trap? All right, so we'll we'll go we'll go and take a look. Okay, so explore, just whirl her nunchuck. Oh, okay. In the air for four and a half second. All approaching infected are uh, repel. Does that mean like bounce off, causing damage to them, regaining three hundred sixty three eighty two health for herself. So hit. And gain health. I mean, this sounds pretty good, right? Next, just get 5.20 damage reduction every time she attack. Stack up to three times. After two seconds, if she's not attacked, the stack effect will be reset. So let's say she gains stack of like 5% damage reduction, right? So stack up to three times so it could be up all the way up to five, five time or I mean maybe the damage reduction will be higher 
so it's still man at 15% damage reduction is still very very good and if she not getting hit then it's reset so if she get hit again and this is passive skill so it is very very good next panda swipe just had a chance strengthen her attack causing 132 extra damage and 20% chance to have additional stun effects this is also like a passive skill all right so let's take a look we're gonna take wacko out and put jess in okay and then we can take maddie out who else should we put candy or her let me put her and try not to be too op in here okay so so we can actually see the hero shine in the in the lower level here all right here we go guys all right big uh <laughs> we haven't seen anything okay we're gonna go back into here all right well i haven't done much man maybe we just have to put her by herself we'll see goodies goodies hey pick up all right can't waste the goodies if you don't come here often so nunchuck wow <laughs> it's too it's too op so i'm gonna remove them okay we're gonna go yolo right here guys no um okay we're gonna put goals all right <laughs> this is way too easy oh you know what we can do we can kill infected warden huh this is <laughs> It's too easy. Or maybe she's super OP. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> okay, where they coming from top here? All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This this is like a big fail right here. Okay, we get seven handcuffs. We're gonna. No, we can't use those. Anyway, we are going to talk about military skill now. Okay, so let's take a look here. Ooh, this changed, dude. Before it's eight round, now it's seven round because we did upgrade her, right? So take a look. Every se seven round, launch a killing technique. Extra 150% damage will be caused to an attacking target and target will be disarmed for one round. This is very very good. So it's basically it will disarm them for one round and then do extra damage right but it's every seven round. So we only upgrade them one one level so if you do a little bit more it should be like every five round. And the damage will increase a little bit too so this will be super exciting if the skill because the skill only go up like what two by two so yeah so at level four might not change and level five probably like six round or five round you know who knows but i mean at this point all we know it is very good and it would disarm so as far as a like joiner for trap this might not be an ideal it it, it is good uh, for attacking other settlement in the big rallies but as far as the trap goes you disarm the trap they don't you don't take damage anyway so as a joiner is might not benefit you okay next just give for martial art decreased damage 
cost her by 4% this is level 2 so it's gonna go up to 10% in my opinion it's going up by 2 right this is level 2 and lastly Jess has created her own form of martial art each attack by Jess will cause damage she cost plus 5% so that's at level 1 so it could be going up by 5 that was my uh, guesstimation would be so overall she is good for attacking other settlement like siege hero right but as far as the trap go she might be okay just for like uh, rally leaders but she should not be the first one to join because of her first skill you need seven rounds to get those activated and well those traps they don't really show you how many round of attack that they actually do right because since there's like a huge amount of HP and we kind of like one hit and go right so we don't know you know exactly how many round does the attack you know hit anyway guys so that's my guesstimation for this skill and overall she is very very good hero it probably will be one of my favorite now well <laughs> since it's gen 6 right other than that if you like the content uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video